Welcome back guys. So we are busy loading up the van. We've done a lot of mods. Uh, and a lot of cleaning. <laughs> a lot of cleaning. So I'm going to show you guys that really quick and then get back to packing because we have about 45 to 47 hours worth of driving. We are breaking it up, but we're headed west. So it's about to get real. We're about to be on the road again. Show you guys some awesome places, some uh, places that we've always wanted to visit. And also I think we're gonna do a little something different with the channel. Uh, I've been talking with Brittany about this. We want to start checking out some abandoned places. So if we can find some of those, we're gonna incorporate some of those in our travels, of course. But let me uh, show you some of these mods. Starting here on the back. We have the Nevader racks. But if you have racks, you need something to go on them. Backwood Adventure Mods. Large box right here. We got a uh, Fuel Packs by Roto Packs up here. That's a red one for gasoline. The diesel one wasn't going to come in on time. The yellow one doesn't really matter. That's for diesel. Impending diesel shortage. So of course you need that. But uh, we needed this box. And I liked the back ones, Woods Adventure one the best. Came with the shelf already uh, in it. We mounted it, sealed it, everything. Um, and I have some traction pads right here. So uh, they're like the knockoff go treads, you know. I'm cheap, always looking for a deal. <laughs> but I uh, found them on Amazon for like 40 something dollars. And then, in here. Brittany put me to work and I got to show you guys I think they're cool mods but let's take a look. So as you guys can see we have our fridge there but we wanted a place for our camp chairs. We have those cool rocking chairs so in there we have some camp chairs and then we have a little platform right here and then also you might see that orange one. As you can see we try to match the fridge, give it a pop of color. This orange right here, the shelf that I built, is for our Berkey with some storage underneath. So uh, yeah, mission successful on that. And now let's go around and show you one other mod that Brittany said was a must. So coming around here to the side of the van, we have this mod. Let me move my uh, drinks out of the way, my Gatorade. <laughs> right here see that cat food and cat water dish holder so I moved the fire extinguisher mounted that over in the galley kitchen area and built this right here painted it stained it put a clear coat on it for the little cat bowls so came out pretty good the cat bowls it's a little bit larger but the cat bowls have a lip so it works. I like that. Brittany was excited. Cats would be happy. And we have one other addition, not really a mod, but an addition. And let me show you that. Right there behind that Gatorade bottle, the Thetford Porta Potty. Brittany wanted one that was regular toilet height. This has an electric flush. We're actually going to keep it right there because we're going to probably leave this down in lounge mode all the time. Have this one up, giving it a little divider. And it's a perfect spot. And I actually got the base for it. So I'm going to put uh, double sided tape or put Velcro on the floor with the corresponding side on that holder. And then the Thetford toilet will click right in place. It stays there, fits there pretty well though. But we'll do that. And uh, now Brittany has her regular height toilet. I don't think he does excited. 
excited as I am. <laughs> so we just gassed up. Everything's in the van. The cats are both on my lap. And we are officially on our road trip. This is the best. Well, it's 2.30, you've been on the road for over two hours now. We just stopped at a little rest stop here, or don't know where, on I-10 going across Florida West. And had some lunch, and I actually wanted to share this with you guys real quick. Uh, so this, we ordered these meals, uh, these factor meals. They're a little pricier. Your first meal, uh, 18 meals, you get pretty cheap. I had a friend that's been dieting, uh, doing a keto diet, and they have all kinds of options like low carb, high carb, keto, paleo, etc. Uh, when it comes to your meal choices, but for van life, that's really easy, and that's a way to stay eating healthy. Uh, it's a game changer. Yeah, with Brittany, um, yeah, obviously going through the cancer, we just wanted to be a little bit more conscious on what we're eating. Yes, we're still microwaving it, which we, you know, eventually should probably get away from, but uh, we just wanted to, a little bit more healthier food choices because we tend to. Uh, well, especially me. I don't eat the healthiest. S surprise. <laughs> He's way worse yeah. than me. Um, I just have a really great metabolism and I work out a lot, so uh, it just works out for me. But you can already feel the difference just last night and today eating the meals. Just feel a lot better. Um, you know, digestive system is working much better, things like that. And then we also had the Berkey in the yep. back that's strapped in the shelf which we will show you show you guys at another time We're getting away from bottled water yeah, yep definitely uh because you know bottled water is not that the greatest to hormonal imbalances and also cancer as well and no i am not a doctor or anything so <laughs> take everything yes. you say with a grain of salt <laughs> but lots of uh Lots of information out there on that, so pretty well known at this point. And then we actually found like these are here, these poppy prebiotic pro, prebiotic sodas. This is the orange one. Uh, so we're doing like a lot of like seltzer flavor drinks and stuff, and trying to stay away from different things like aspartame. Just making certain steps to be healthier while uh, living van life. And um, if you had the money. Especially if you're a single person, I'd recommend those factor meals. Um, we'll probably end up throwing a link in the description, just how you guys can get to them. Check them out. Like I said, a little pricier for an individual or a couple on the road. It's an easy way, though, to eat healthy. And to be honest, we may be even saving money right now with the prices at the grocery yeah. store. So, But we're going to get back on the road, guys. So we will catch you some point later. Don't know when. stop for the night. It's like 9.30. Brittany's eating. It looks good too. It's like a chicken pasta with cauliflower. And I am too tired to eat, so I'm going to sleep. We are in the middle of Mississippi. Yep. About half an hour or so outside of Jackson at a Walmart. I guess you, we'll show you the beautiful surroundings in the morning, but for now, Good night. Well, good morning. As you probably could see, a little bit of a glare, but we are at the world famous Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> it was late. I mean, we, we put on a good amount of hours yesterday. Uh, nine and a half, ten hours. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> wanted to make these two days um, a little bit uh, less driving, so... Now we got about uh, 16 hours, 20 minutes of driving to do, so we'll probably put in eight and a half today, and then probably eight the next day or so. So finish it off. All right, we secured the coffee. It's delicious. I'm gonna give this. Probably a 9 out of 10. What do you think, Neil? I agree. Yeah. You always gotta find the small shops. 
those are always the best ones. Stay away from all those corporate ones because these are just, oh, so good, so good. Love it. Well, onward we go. As you can see, I've got some uh, companions with me on my seat this morning and, well, all the time. So we're going to get on the road here, try to get in at least eight hours today, and we'll end up somewhere in Texas today. Neil really wanted to stop here. <laughs> so we had to make a stop anyway to stretch our legs. We're gonna have to gas up. But look behind us. We are at the uh, Duck Commander, Buck Commander, uh, old headquarters. This is actually like, you know, where they filmed and everything, but now they do a tour here. And if you don't know what this is, I'm really sorry for you. <laughs> it was the greatest <laughs> reality show ever on TV. <laughs> but we figured we'd stop, get a picture with it, stretch our legs. Uh, it is like a store and tour, so I don't know. We might go in and check it out. <laughs> for the night. There's an armadillo. Where? Nope, oh, it's a raccoon. Oh. Yeah. I was hoping it. <laughs> hello, buddy. Well, hello there. <laughs> As he runs away. <laughs> I turned in the, uh, I turned in the accent. I thought it was that entrance in here. Oopsies. <laughs> We're parked up here along the river. Show you guys that quick in the morning. And we're once more eating some dinner, <laughs> late dinner. It's like, what, 8 p.m.? Yep. Yeah, 8 p.m., so we've been on the road uh, since like 8 a.m. Um, we stopped, took our time, went back routes, avoided Dallas, because I hate driving through Dallas. But now I'm eating some stuffed pepper, and Brittany's eating some uh, chicken pasta fioli, I don't know. <laughs> Something. I don't really care because all these meals are freaking delicious. So I think we're definitely going to leave a uh, link down in the description with our referral code. If anybody wants to check these out, they are so good. Yeah, but you guys, uh, in the morning you'll see, you might recognize the spot. We actually stayed here like uh, probably eight months ago, nine months ago. Yeah, in the uh, Travado, right? Yeah, so it was... Uh, Really awesome spot. You're right next to the highway, so you do have noise. But you just turn a fan on and kind of drown it out and enjoy a good night's sleep. They have uh, the police actually patrol, and there's lights, and there are bathrooms, and there is Wi Fi here. Um, I don't think we're close enough where we're parked for the Wi Fi. We haven't checked. But the bathrooms are open only until like 5 p.m. Um, but it is nice. They're open like 8 to 5 or something like that. So we'll definitely, uh, I'll probably put the information in the description where this is, but it's like the Wichita Falls, Texas Travel Center, Info Center, something like that. So if you just eye Overlander, it'll pop right up, but um, it's right off the highway, easy to find. But on that note, we're gonna eat, relax, and then hit the road first thing in the morning so we can get to Albuquerque. I know this video is kind of boring, it's just us traveling across, uh, but it's about to get really exciting here very soon. But so. also, this is reality of <laughs> travel, van life. These are what some of your days are going to look like. So we're just showing you a little bit of everything. Yeah, real life. Just keeping it real. Well, see you guys in the morning. Good morning. So, promised you I would show you guys our spot. Can't see because it's still pretty dark out, but there's actually a river down there. And the highway is right here, as you guys probably can hear. But, having a nice insulated van, you don't really get hear any of these noises. But we are gonna get some coffee, a little breakfast, 
and hit the road because unfortunately guys uh, we still got like eight hours to go <laughs> so it's just a little after seven let's get to it well we get some Starbucks no uh, little man's no local shops get a bug <laughs> but it is a new Starbucks so if you're going from uh, Wichita Falls to Albuquerque, you know, on your way or to Amarillo, there's a new Starbucks right here off the highway, so. And these are our first peppermint mochas of the season. It's officially <laughs> Christmas season. It's Thanksgiving season. No, it's Christmas season. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, had to use the bathroom, you know, van life, didn't it? want to do certain things in the van so <laughs> we're pulling off for just a gas station or mcdonald's and just happened to be a starbucks so we're able to go to the bathroom get some coffee and the little uh, grub we got some egg bites but on that note we're getting it our way to albuquerque it's almost 8 a.m now and we got like seven hours and 45 minutes of driving so i guess we'll probably see you uh, when we get to new mexico so I had to stop gas up real quick, use the bathrooms, but uh, we are just about 30 minutes outside of Amarillo, Texas, and it is in the low 40s. I got out to gas up, was in a tank top. It was just in the 80s, low 40s right now. It is cold, uh, looking like Albuquerque is only gonna be in the low 50s. So a little chilly coming from Florida, but it is what it is, gotta get used to it. So waiting on Brittany to come out, and we're gonna get back in and head to Albuquerque. I was just looking because I don't know if you guys can see her. <laughs> Moon is looking out the window right now. Wondering what I'm doing talking to myself out here. We're back. As you guys have seen, we've arrived. We are in New Mexico. Got the van parked up. Brittany's using the bathroom. And we are about three and a half hours from Albuquerque. So, once she finishes up, we're gonna get back on the road. We're gonna get there. So, uh, Brittany doesn't know, and she won't see this before, but we got a surprise birthday party for her because we didn't get to celebrate her birthday because of the hurricane. So, my best friend Ryan and his wife Cynthia have planned a meal, some birthday cake, and we are gonna surprise her this evening. I'll get some footage. Uh, and to celebrate a good birthday for her. And if you guys, <coughs> sorry, if you guys are wondering, look at this, uh, Dixon flannel. These things are top notch. So just shout out to Dixon, loving these. This is the uh, Jason Voorhees edition. But uh, I will uh, throw a link down in the description. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. But if you're looking for like the best high quality at a, a decent price, you know, they're like sale prices of 40, 50 bucks. You can get these and they're very warm, very nice. Cause it's only 44 degrees here. But on that note, keep the secret guys. Don't tell Brittany. We're gonna get to uh, Albuquerque and celebrate her birthday. A little late. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Aunt Brittany. Happy birthday to you. Wait, you gotta make a wish for It's the balloons away from the fire. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see.